Hi, my name is Bill Konigsberg, and I am the author of several uh, often challenged uh, young adult novels, including Openly Straight and the Stonewall Book Award winning The Porcupine of Truth. Uh, I chose today to read Alex Gino's George uh, because, first of all, it's just fantastic. Uh, aside from being beautifully written, uh, this book is just so important for both young people who are transgender who need to see mirrors of themselves and young people who need to see the window into another person's life. It was a big, important book for me in my own journey of understanding the transgender experience. So I'm going to read a, a quick scene where George tells his brother that he's transgender. Mom paid at the door and unleashed her children on the buffet while she found a, a table. George filled her, her plate with fried chicken, mashed potatoes, corn fritters, pizza, a pile of nachos, and a cube of cherry jello hidden under a taco to eat while mom was getting her own food. Even at Arnie's, mom said you should have dinner before dessert. George went back to the table while mom took her turn at the buffet. Scott sat down soon after. What's up with mom, he asked from behind a plate piled high with ham, turkey, and chicken topped with two slices of pizza. She never takes us out to Arnie's on a weekday unless she's upset about something. Yeah, well, George looked over at mom who was still picking out lettuce for her salad. I kind of got into a fight at school. Scott's head shot up in surprise and his brow grew heavy. When I get into a fight at school, I got grounded. How did you work Arnie's out of it? I kind of also told her something. It must have been big. Mom's staring at the beats like, like a zombie. It was. Did you tell her you were gay? Scott twisted his fork into a pile of mashed potatoes. You know I'm okay with that, right? Before Dad left, he made me promise to take care of you. He said you were like that. I'm not gay, George said. Why did everyone think she was gay? Whatever, I don't care. My friend Matt is gay. It's no big deal. But it was a big deal. I told her I think I'm a girl. Oh, that's what Scott said at first. Oh. Scott chewed, swallowed, and took another bite of pizza. The background noise of the restaurant throbbed in George's ears. She wished Scott would say something, even if it was mean. Oh, Scott took a bite of turkey. Oh, Scott began to nod slowly. He turned to George, whose stomach had jumped with each O oh, and was now nearly in her throat. That's more than just being gay. No wonder she's freaking out. I know. Scott put down his fork. So do you? Do I what? Think you're a girl? Yes. George was surprised at how easy that question was to answer. Oh. Scott ripped off a hunk of a roll with his teeth and chewed thoroughly. Mom returned with a green salad topped with a raw vegetable, with raw vegetables and vinaigrette dressing. She finished it quickly and dropped her plate off in a dish bin. Mom always started her meal at Arnie's with a salad. She said it was healthy, not to mention delicious, but she always ate it quickly and then returned with a plate just as decadent as George's and Scott's. Scott had gnawed silently on a chicken wing while Mom ate her salad, but once she got up and approached the appetizer bar, he dropped the bone onto his plate. I know about your magazines. Mom told you? No, nah, I found them this weekend. I knew Mom was upset about something, and I, then I saw the bag sitting on her bed. Dude, I thought you had porn or something in there, so I took a peek. You know, just to find out what kind of stuff my little bro was into. So I figured you were gay, but I didn't think you were like that. Scott popped a corn fritter into his mouth. So, like, do you want to? He made a gesture with two fingers like a pair of scissors. Go all the way? George squeezed her legs together. Maybe someday, she said. Weird, but it kind of makes sense. No offense, but you don't make a very good boy. I know.